In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to add web fonts to your Adobe Muse website. So if you want to add new fonts or look through new fonts, Adobe has a really nice feature called uh, Typekit that uh, you can add web fonts through, through Typekit. So I'm going to begin. And this is the website I've uh, created for this video. Uh, it's just the same image repeated with the same text. And we're just going to replace the fonts on these images, on these uh, text boxes here. Okay, so I'm going to open the project file. And to add a web font is relatively easy. You just click on the, on the text, text box, double click, highlight the text. And then right over here to the left, you see the, the font uh, name. You just click down here. And you notice we have recently used fonts, we have web fonts, we have web safe fonts, and we have system fonts. I don't ever recommend using system fonts uh, because for search engine optimization, uh, search engine optimization or the, or the Google search engines or any search engine can't read system fonts. They get imported as images, and I'll give you an example of that uh, later in the video. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add a web font, and again, we, we can pick any of these fonts and see it changes the font. You know, if you're familiar with any word processor, this should be relatively familiar to you. Um, so, yeah, we can just change the font there, and that's actually not a web font. As you can see, I picked something that's not a web font, and this little T with an image appears, and this is saying that Muse is import is using this text as an image. So this is actually an image rather than a, a font. Um, and I can, if I hit Command Shift E, um, you see it's actually an image that I can save to my computer. So let's, let's actually save that just so I can show you uh, what, you know, how that's actually working. And see, so now I have this image and it says bicycle. That's actually an image. And the search engines don't know what this image says in it. It just looks at it as an image and doesn't read that it says bicycles. Um, and search engines like to to be able to read that for search engine optimization or if, if that's what you're going for to optimize your website. Okay, so I'm gonna change this font again because we don't wanna use uh, a system font. We wanna use a web font so that the search engines can can read it. So let's let's do that one. Okay, so we just change it. Now, let's say I don't like any of the fonts I have. I want to try finding a new font. This is where I go back into the fonts. And right here, there's an add web fonts under web fonts. So I just click there. And as you can see, I have all of these nice fonts, uh, courtesy of Typekit. Um, so let's say I want to use Macondo. OK, I just click on it, click OK. And it says one font family was added to the web fonts menu. Click OK, and then I'll have to go back into my menu, go into Web Fonts, and now Macondo is in there. I click it, and there's my font. And I can change the size, 36, 60, make it bigger, smaller. Okay, and let's say I want to change this one now, and I'll add another Web Font. And up here you have a filter, so you can select kind of the style that you want the font in. Um, I'll select this M here. And uh, let's see, let's do, uh, let's do waiting for the something. Okay, one font family was added to the web fonts menu. Click OK. And waiting for the sunrise. All right, there it is. Now I have that font. And let's do one more just for practice. And add web fonts. And let's go, let's try this M here. Uh, let's do cabin sketch, that looks pretty cool. Okay. And let's go and click on cabin sketch, regular, and there it is. Bicycles. So if I preview this, oh, okay, um, sorry. Let's go back to the preview. If I preview this, I have the different fonts for my different text boxes. Um, I'll create a whole new text box so you can see how we do that as well. So to create a text box, you just click the T tool, the text tool, right over here. And we'll just make a, a rectangle. Double click inside and type in, you know, whatever you want to type in. Then you can highlight it 
and center it, you know, just like any formatting tool. Um, you know, if you just missed that, I just highlighted. And here's the alignment. I can align it right, middle, left. I want it in the middle. I want to change the size to about 48. That looks good. And to change the background, I just click on the text box. And in the fill, I add a white, or you can pick any color. There it is. And let's make it the same thing here. Sometimes what I do, if I want this, the, the text to look exactly in the center, is I'll create a whole nother text box, or a whole nother rectangle. Um, that looks okay. And then I'm going to, actually I'll just move this, move this here, and I'm going to cl right click, arrange, bring to front, and now it's going to be in the front. Here, let me move this over here. And then this... That looks that looks good right there, and let me take out the stroke on this box, and there we go. And then I'm going to highlight this. I want a different font, so I'm going to go here, add web fonts, and we'll pick this M again, and let's do let's do Geo Star. We click on it, click OK, and click OK. Then we go back to our fonts and look for Geo Star. There it is, bicycles. All right, and I can move this down so I can give it more of like a kind of aligned effect, a middle effect in there. So there you go, bicycles. So as you can see, you can do a lot of creative things with web fonts. Web fonts really add a nice style to your website and can make your website really, you know, pop out or, or have a, a unique or different style to it or just go with the whole theme of your website. Um, they're really cool to use. And one last thing I'll show you, let's say you want to add, wanted to add multiple web fonts, you just click add web fonts, and you just click on the web fonts you want, you see? As long as this check mark is next to it, it's going, going to install this web font. Um, I'm not going to install it now because I've clicked on a lot of web fonts that I don't think I need at the moment. So I'll just let you play with it and, uh, you know, practice with it, you know, look, look through the different fonts. And uh, yeah, I think web fonts, you know, any designer, or any web developer would say is pretty important to a, a nice website. So thank you. This is Velveteen Web Design Group. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.